Amen. Let us go through the word of God from the book of Acts chapter 13, verse number 52. And the Bible says that, And the disciples were filled with the joy, with joy. They were filled with joy. And with the Holy Spirit. At Liconium, in Conium, Paul and Barnabas went as usual into the Jewish synagogue. There they spoke effectively that a great number of Jews and Greeks believed. So Paul and Barnabas spent considerable time there, speaking boldly for the Lord, who confirmed the message of His grace by end enabling them to perform signs and wonders. In Lystra there sat a man who was lame. He had been that way from birth and never walked. He listened to Paul as he was speaking. Paul looked directly at him so that he had faith to be healed and called out, Stand up on your feet. At that the men jumped up and began to walk. When the crowd saw Paul, what Paul had done, they shouted in the Konya language, the gods have come down to us in a human form. I want us to start very well from verse number 8 of Acts chapter 14 where the Bible says that in Lystra the man there said a man who had been lame he had been that way from birth and he never walked and he listened to Paul as he was speaking Paul looked directly at him and saw that he had faith to be healed and the Bible is talking about this was Paul who was with Barnabas who was teaching the word of God and the Bible said that as he was teaching the word of God there was a man who was lame and the Bible said that he was lame from birth then that means he could not walk from birth but there was something good that this man who could not walk from birth he did part of the things that he did is that he was in the presence of God first he was at the place where people have met in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ no Amen. being in the presence of God the benefit of being in the presence of God if this man was lame and if he was lame but he was not in the presence of God even though God wanted to heal him even though God wanted to solve his problem God was not going to be able to there is a benefit of being in the presence of God. Because Amen. first of all, this man, he is in the line of miracle. He's in the line to be healed today. He's getting healed today. And the reason why he's getting healed today is because he is in the presence of God. If he was not in the presence of God, he was not going to be healed. Amen. 
the benefit of being at the right time, at the right place. And that place is the presence of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. First of all, if somebody is looking for a miracle, that person must be at the place where he or she can get a miracle. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 For example, when we hear about we hear about the sitting woman, the woman who had an issue of blood. The Bible said that that woman who had an issue of blood, she heard that Jesus Christ is passing by, but she she told herself, if I touch the hem of his garment today, I will be healed. Then she's gonna be making sure that she is where Jesus Christ is today. And she's going to make sure that she touched the hem of his coming today. And the anointing must touch him. Must touch her. Yes. That Amen. means she makes sure that she's at the right place where a miracle can happen. Okay. And the Bible says that when Paul was teaching the word of God, the Bible says that he's teaching the word of God, but he's looking for expression just to see an expression. But the Bible says that when he looked at this man, like what the Bible said in verse number 9 of Acts chapter 14, he listened to Paul as he was speaking. And he looked directly at him and saw that he had faith to be healed. The Bible says that Paul looked directly at this man and he saw how he was expressing himself when he was listening to the word of God. And Paul was moved, say, ah, ah, this one must be healed today. This one God must touch today. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. That means this woman, this man, previously we are talking about women, now we are talking about this man. Amen. He provoked Paul in order for Paul to perform a miracle. I want to tell you this. It is not as if that day Paul wanted to perform a miracle. No, he doesn't want to perform a miracle. He was enjoying to talk about the word of God. He was enjoying to teach. But there was a man who was lame. The way he was listening and reacting. Paul was saying that this one must be healed. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. You can provoke the anointing. You can provoke faith. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. On how you are listening and how you are reacting, you can provoke it. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. You can provoke the anointing. You can provoke the faith of the man of God. On how you are listening and how you are reacting. Like this man. That's what the Bible said that. Paul looked directly at him and he saw that he had faith to be healed. How did he see that this one deserved to be healed? How did he see that he had got faith? How he reacted. Some people they think it is not so important to react when I'm listening to the word of God. It is not so much important how I give attention when I'm listening to the word of God. It is important. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. It is important Amen. if you are looking for a miracle. Amen. Amen. How you listen, how you react, how you participate. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. 
Amen. For example, when we hear about the man Bartimaeus, the Bible said that this man was blind. As this man was blind, and um, because he was blind and because of his disability, he used to sit by the roadside. As he sit by the roadside, the Bible said that he will be asking for people for money as they pass. Amen. And the Bible said that on this other day, he began to hear the loud noise. When he heard the loud noise, he began to ask what was happening. And they told him that today, Jesus Christ of Nazareth is passing by. He said, what? The noise that you are hearing is because Jesus Christ of Nazareth is passing by. The Bible said that Bartimaeus, after that, he could not contain himself and begin to shout, Son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, have mercy on me. The people who were there were like, Bartimaeus, you're making noise. Bartimaeus, shut up. But Bartimaeus knew that today is the day of my miracle. Today is the day for my healing. I must get, I must get my miracle by fire, by force. And he began to shout, Son of David, have mercy on me. And the Bible says, people were there like Bartimaeus, you're making noise. Bartimaeus, shut up. But Bartimaeus knew that uh, it's my miracle is here. I don't care who says what. I must get his attention. Today, I must be here. Amen. The way that Bartimaeus, even though they say shut up, Bartimaeus kept on shouting, Son of David, have mercy on me. Amen. Actually, the attention of Jesus Christ was taken by Bartimaeus because of how he was acting, what he was saying. In such a way that even that day, Jesus did not want, was not planning to heal Bartimaeus. He had to. Amen. It was unavoidable. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. It was Amen. unignorable. You could not ignore Bartimaeus. Otherwise, people who were there were going to say, Ah, Jesus, couldn't you see that blind man? The way, the way Bartimaeus was acting demanded the attention. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. The Amen. way Bartimaeus was acting he demanded the attention. Jesus Christ was supposed to do something. Amen. Amen. Because there was a way he was acting. Amen. He was shouting uncontrollably. Amen. In order to get the attention of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Many people when they are looking for a miracle, they expressed it that I need a miracle. Amen. I don't know whether you're here or say. Amen. I need a miracle Amen. and I'm ready for a miracle. Amen. Amen. They expressed it. For example, the Bible talks about the people who have expressed that they need a miracle and they they show that by fire by force I must get a miracle. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I love. Say fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, I yeah, love yeah, the yeah, word yeah, of love. God. I love the word of. I love the word I'm of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. 
For example, when you hear about this man, this man he was showing, I need a miracle. I am ready for a miracle. The Bible talks about this other woman who was a Serafinicious woman. The Bible said that this Serafinicious woman, her daughter was demon possessed. The Bible said that as a daughter was demon possessed, the Bible says she had been trying to go to Jesus. But in order to go to Jesus, she had to go through the disciples of Jesus Christ. As she had to go through the disciples of Jesus Christ, they have been trying to tell her, no woman, you can't see her. Go. But the way she was acting, the way she was determined, you could not let her turn back until they say, Jesus, can you please talk to this woman? We have tried. We have tried to tell her to go back, but she does not want. Amen. Until Jesus Christ had to talk with this woman because of how she was expressing herself. How you express yourself shows how much you believe and you expect a miracle. How about Timias, if you are trying to le- listen to the peach and you look at the action of Bartimaeus, you can see this man believe. If you are trying to see how this woman is acting, you can see how this, this woman believe, this man believe, this woman believe also. That this woman is not taking chance, this man is not taking chance. He truly believed that indeed, Jesus, you can open my eyes. He truly believed that, Jesus, you can cast out the demon out of my daughter. He truly believed. They truly believe, and they are expressing it in their action. So this man, the Bible said that when Paul looked directly at him, he saw that he had faith. He had faith to be healed. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. He had faith to be healed. And even though Paul does not want to perform a miracle, he have to. He doesn't have any choice. He have to. And the Bible says that in verse number 10 of Acts number 4, chapter 14, and called out to stand up on your feet. At that, the men jumped up and began to walk. I, you know, I don't know the expression that these men have. I don't know whether whenever Apostle Paul spoke, this woman, this man was raising up hands. I don't know when Apostle Paul was preaching, this man was saying amen. Maybe he was saying amen more than anybody. Maybe he was talking and as he was, he was saying amen, he was even shaking. Showing Paul, I believe. Paul, I agree with what you are saying. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. I told you what happened this, I think it's two weeks ago, when I went to preach at the clinic. I went there to preach in the morning. I found an old lady and a daughter who is a, she's she's an older woman, an adult. But when I got there and they told me how they were, the other day they were so blessed with the word of God they were so blessed with the prayer I saw their expression after doing that I was like no I can't go this woman sitting on the wheelchair she's sitting on the wheelchair the older lady I said I can't go 
I wanted to give them to give them the, the, the phone number that they will call, but I, I said I can't. I must pray for this one. Amen. This one must walk now. Amen. Amen. I had to pray for her. After praying for her, she stood up from the wheelchair and she began to walk. Then it was after I saw the expression of faith. Your, your expression of faith can put a demand. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. You can provoke God. Amen. You can provoke God. You can provoke a man of God. Amen. I don't know whether you are Amen. hearing what I'm saying. The testimony of Sia is if you don't send out an audio to the group, where did you where is the she will, she will either gonna say, Can I have a record? I want the record of the service of, of this afternoon. And if I did not record it due to some circumstances, it will be that she, she that's how far she will go. And I want the record every month. <laughs> she will pay tithe, she won't just pay partnership, she pay tithe. In such a way that if my God is real, he must do something. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. And when I hear about the contracts and say that, even when I pray, say, oh God, do something. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Because also me, you reach a level where you you yourself, you are challenged. And God behind you is also challenged. In such a way that if it's a real God, he has to move. If it's a living Amen. God, he have to move. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. There are some action and faith expression that you can do. After that, God is in corner. He have to yes. do something. Then that's how far I felt as a man of God. Ah, somebody who, if she get a job and she's at work, she's faithful with her tithe. Oh God, if you can't give a job, who else can you give a job? If indeed we claim you can give the job of choice. And this is the day she called a few weeks ago, I think it's before she testified. And she told me that, Pastor, something have happened. I got opportunity to do the GCC, the one that you have. I said, ah, miraculous. Ah, I can't believe it. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Because there are certain things. If God is a living God, <laughs> He's a living God, He will do it. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. 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 And also today I just had a testimony of my mother who say that she had been called for a job. But she's somebody who every day she, she will be offering. Every day she will be offering. Every day she will be saying amen. amen. Then I'm like, yeah, if you do those things, if there is God in this place, he must do something. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. There are certain things that if you do them, when you are expressing your faith, the man of God will have a burden. God will have a burden to move. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. I'm trying to tell you that Apostle Paul was cornered. The way this man he was doing, there was no way he won't do it. Amen. Learn to express Amen. your faith. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. Learn to express your faith. The, say, the way you react when the word of God is spoken. The way you give attention to the word of God. The way you respond to the word of God. God must Amen. be touched in heaven in such a way that it is impossible for him not to move. That, that God must be cornered. 
and they say that if he does not do this, he doesn't exist. Because you have done everything possible. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. It's the same thing when you are hearing about the son of David, Solomon. The Bible said that he gave a thousand sacrifices. He gave a thousand sacrifices. And when he have given a thousand sacrifices, the Bible said that that night it was it was not Solomon praying, "Oh God, visit me." It was God who came and said, Solomon, you have cornered me. What you have done, nobody has really done what you have done. What can I do for you? Ask anything. Ask anything. I'm God. You can't do that to me and, and you touch my heart and I can't do anything for you. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. I told you, it was the day when I was in the service, in the service of my spiritual father back in the days. Every time it will be offering time, I will be there to swipe my card. I will be there. Until she, I was not, I was doing it for God wholeheartedly. I was not doing it to be noticed. If I wanted anybody to watch it, notice me, it was I wanted God to notice me. I knew God is here. I've seen signs and wonders. I believe, therefore, I was offering to Him. Amen. And she stopped during the service. The whole service has said that uh, I don't know what God will do to this man. Amen. The way <laughs> me as a woman of God, I'm touched. The way as a woman of God, I, I can't ignore this. And you know, if already if Amen. you touch the man of God, you have touched God. I don't know whether you are hearing Amen. what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. When the man of God, like Apostle Paul, is saying this, is because already God is touched. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. And Amen. from that time, my life changed. My love changed. My everything changed. But what am I trying to say to you? There are things that you can do and you touch the heart of God. And once you have touched the God, it won't be it will be impossible for God not to do the impossible. You can ask Hannah. How did she get her breakthrough? The Bible says that. The way she was praying. The way she was praying. The way she prayed that the man of God of the house attention was taken. And they begin to ask, Ah ah, Anna, why are you even though he, he attention was taken and he must understood the actions of Hannah, why do you come to the house of God drunk? No, I'm not coming to the I'm not drunk. I'm pouring my heart to God. And the man of God said, oh, go in peace. God has answered your prayer. And that's how she got here, Samuel. I remember a few years ago, it was a Sunday service. Sunday service. See, I was looking for a job. The job that the breakthrough are just flowing now. The way... That night when we were praying, I could hear her praying. I don't know. It's not it's not always where you hear somebody yeah. praying on this online service. But I hear her. I say, ah, this, this lady is praying. Oh, I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Like what I was hearing. This one is praying. Oh. Amen. And the, that Sunday she offered Monday morning. I'm surprised she's leaving the morning service. Ah, she was later on she testified that she it was the day the that same day she was called for an interview. 
and went and did the the in and got the job same day. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. You can express your faith. You can put Amen. a demand in such a way that when you have put that demand, God Amen. will be moved. And this is what happened to this woman whom the Bible said that in the book of Acts chapter 14 verse number 9. Listened, he listened to Paul as he was speaking. Paul looked directly at him and saw that he had faith. He saw how he expressed his faith to be healed. And the Bible said that, Paul said that, stand up on your feet. And he jumped and began to walk. A man who was lame from birth. I see somebody today, this afternoon. When I look at you, wherever you are, I see you have got a faith for a breakthrough. I say receive your breakthrough in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Every breakthrough that you want, receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You know, this afternoon I went to to the hospital. When I was about to go, I see these men, broken legs, broken legs. Many of them, we begin to just have a, a healing there. And they begin to walk with those, without those crutches. They begin to test those hands which were broken. And the hands were, were becoming healed there. Amen. Amen. It could be, you, you could see the whole word coming out. One by one, everyone pray for us. Joining the service there. Amen. Testing themselves and finding that God have done it. Hallelujah. Amen. I Amen. don't know what you are believing God for. Say God has done it in Jesus' name. Amen. I say God has answered your prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. I can Amen. see the expression Amen. of your faith. Also you, Amen. rise up. I don't know whether you are hearing Amen. what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. When I'm talking about this, I remember the Bible talks about there was another man who was paralyzed. And the Bible said that his friends, you know, they carried this man to Jesus. As they carried this man to Jesus, Jesus Christ was having a service inside the house and the house was full. And the Bible said that because the house was full, they took off the, the roof of the house, bringing the man inside the house so that he can Amen. get attention of Jesus for him to be healed. But the Bible says, when Jesus Christ says so, they, their faith, the faith of those men, he was touched. Amen. And said so that Amen. your faith has made you well. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. He Amen. saw the expression of this man who believed so much and he tore the roof. And I say, your faith that made you here to be here in this service this afternoon. Through that faith, may it make you well wherever you need to be well in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Wow, because it's a midday service. Can you say, my day is blessed? My day is blessed. My, my family is blessed. blessed. My family is blessed. My, my career is blessed. Is blessed. My Area is blessed. Our countries are blessed. Our countries are blessed. Everything is turning around for my good. Everything is turning around. I will not die before my time. I will not die before my time. I will not I will never be sick in my life. I will never be sick in my life. I will never be broken. I will never be broken in my life. Prosperity is mine. Prosperity is mine. Favor. Smile. 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 Say devil, 
take off your hands from my everything. Say, I lose angels now. Angels, bring my harvest. My miracles. My testimony. My jobs. My money. Angels, usher me. Everywhere I, I go, in everything that I do, represent me, present me, say me, say Lord Jesus Christ, you are my Lord, you are my Savior, wash me with your blood, forgive me my sins. Forgive me my sins. Bless me, me today. Sins. Bless me today. Protect, Protect me today. from today. Protect me from today. From today. I am born again. I am born again. I am saved. I am saved. Say may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The love of God. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with, be with us all. Surely goodness and love shall follow me all the days of my life. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Wow. Remember today, it's a Sunday. And we remind each other of giving. The Bible says that give and shall be given to you. Good measure shaken together, pressed down, running over into your bosom. And with the measure you use, it shall be measured to you. Then remember to offer, to connect, you know, your substances with the anointing, number one. Number two, remember to give to the needy. And as you do so, you will see the power of God blessing you in the name of Jesus Christ. And I want to say to us this afternoon, may God bless you. Have a blessed day. And a wonderful day in Jesus' name. Bye bye, everybody. Have a blessed morning, day, and afternoon, and night. Amen. Bye bye. Amen.